Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics lesson. Sometimes in research papers you can find pedigrees that looks like this. It's not sometimes easy to understand such pedigrees, especially as you see the same parent here shown twice. So we need today to generate an error pedigree using this one. And first of all, because D here, parent D, and as you see, sex of these individuals are not shown, so we can use uh, and specify any sex. So parent D shown here twice. So in arrow pedigree, we put him in the middle. It can be her also. We have also parent H, so we put parent H here and parent L. And we put parent L here. And they contribute the genes, so this couple contribute the genes to the child B or offspring B. So this is going to be a contribution of the genes from the parent H and from the parent D. So here's the individual B. And also parent D and L contribute the genes to individual C. Here is uh, also gene flow going to be as follows. So this is going to be individual C and individual B and C contribute the genes to individual X. Again, sex here is not specified. We just used this pedigree in order to build arrow pedigree. Pedigrees that you probably get used to see in your textbooks would look as follows. So we put parent D here in the middle and let's say that this is going to be a male. Again, this is can be also a female and if it is a male, then we put one female here, another female here. So it can be pedigree most likely of the animals where we have such close relative um, consanguineous matings. So here is going to be female H and female L. Mating of the D and H contribute genes to the progeny B. So progeny B here and D and L contribute genes to progeny C. And B and C also involved in consanguineous mating. So we put double line here and of course they have to be of the different sex. Let's say that this is going to be a male and this is going to be a female. Again, sex here is not shown. So we just use it for example, but uh, actually as you see, sex is not known here. And couple B and C has a progeny X. Again, sex is not specified. We also can use this sign that shows that sex is not specified. When we use arrow pedigrees, we use it in order, for example, to find uh, inbreeding coefficient, for example, of the individual X, and it is easier to use this uh, arrow diagram than, for example, such pedigree or such pedigree. And this pedigree is considered to be intermediate between this two. So it has its own convenience and the arrangement is not that important. It can be horizontal or vertical. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.